The time is to file taxes has come and gone, and now the IRS is expected to process over 150 million returns this year. But while the number of returns is up, there are concerns that they will only find a fraction of potential tax fraud cases. Cronkite News reporter Samantha Witherwax is in our Washington bureau with the details. In Arizona, the number of criminal prosecutions for tax fraud fell from 69 in 2010 to 19 last year, according to TRAC, which is a database of federal records kept by Syracuse University. Nationally, the number of referrals fell 30 percent in the last two years, TRAC said, to the lowest level during the Obama administration. Now the IRS does not dispute the numbers, telling us in a statement today that steep budget declines have left it unable to hire the agents it needs. One tax watch Dog said the drop was to be expected. It's not surprising that if you reduce the funding to the IRS, you reduce the funding for enforcement, uh, then you're going to get uh, reduced numbers of enforcement actions. But Pete Sepp with the National Taxpayers Union said that doesn't mean IRS officials are sleeping on the job. Referrals may be down, but Sepp thinks that the IRS is finding other ways to catch cheaters. The agency is still placing an emphasis on enforcing the tax laws, maybe through other means than actually hauling people into court for criminal charges. In the last 10 years within the IRS, administration and bureaucracy funding increased over 150 percent, while taxpayer service decreased over 40. But the area where SEP believes new action is being taken is in the enforcement funding, which has gone up 14 percent. It's very easy to say, oh, fewer criminals are being prosecuted in court for tax reasons. The system must be falling apart. That's too simplistic of an answer. It's important to examine other enforcement and examination activities. But the IRS says the math is simple. The less agents they have, the less cases that can be worked on, and the fewer criminals that are going to be brought to justice. They also said that they can expect to see this trend continue on this year. Reporting from the nation's capital, Samantha Witherwax, Cronkite News.